Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Everyday October. In today's video I am going to be doing a full face of makeup that were my favourites from last October, like September and October. I have just been watching my monthly recap videos from last year, from 2023. I have been watching those and grabbing out the products that I said I was enjoying last year and some of these products I, I some of these products I'm looking at them on my table now some of them I already know that I still love and then some of them I just haven't used since last October <laughs> which is a little bit worrying so that's what we're going to do today if you want to see more from me I am posting every single day this month so you can subscribe down below and you'll get a little notification every time I post if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below what you think of these products that I'm going to be using today but Let's just dive straight on in. I'm very, very excited about this one. So the base combination that we are going to be doing today, I mentioned this primer. I think I tried it for the first time last September, I think it was. This is the Beauty Crop Glow Milk Primed. I actually had this in a project pan in August. Absolutely love this stuff absolutely love it and I love it mixed in with a foundation and this foundation came up a few times on my thumbnails so I haven't used this since last year could not tell you what I think of it but I think these two mixed together might be an all right color this foundation looks quite light I might have to do a sort of mixeroo and mix in some bronzing drops but we'll see how we go so I'm gonna take a couple of pumps of the foundation and I'll do one pump of the glow milk primed and I will just put a little bit of the elf bronzing drops into the mix as well because I think that that foundation will still be a little bit light for me so I'll put a bit of the bronzing drops I might just do another little pump of the foundation just to try and create a colour that's somewhat going to match me and I will get a brush and mix this all together on the back of my hand and see what sort of colour we get <laughs> before I put it all over my face. Okay I feel like the amount of everything that we had there is actually going to work out quite well. That colour looks much better for me now so I'm just going to dot this all over the face and I'm going to use a sponge to blend this all in. I didn't have a concealer, I couldn't see in either of the videos from last year a concealer that stood out to me so I'll just get a random one. I'll just get a random one from my collection just for the purposes of the under eyes. <laughs> the dark under eyes. So I'll just pick up whatever's left on the back of my hand with a Eco Tools sponge. Yeah, that colour will work. That will absolutely work. Let's bounce this in. Okay, so I completely forgot how much I love that foundation. I did just sort of take that over the eyes just to start to cancel out that darkness. I will use a concealer I will just get a different concealer around my eyes but I feel like that's really good coverage like more coverage than what I would usually do and I dialed it down with that primer and bronzing drops but I feel like that color is pretty perfect what shade was that um 20 medium porcelain it's definitely too light for me without the bronzing drops mixed in but I feel like that looks really nice it is like quite a matte finish I really like that right I'm going to just use a little bit of this year's favorite concealer which is the sleek in your tone longwear concealer honestly just because it's out on my table <laughs> and it's a long way to reach back here to try and get another one out of my drawer so let's just use this 
round the eyes and I'll just use the same sponge. I just want a little bit more coverage round the like blue dark circles on the like inner part of my eye. So this concealer is absolutely fantastic. And I do feel like it just cancels out a lot of the darkness on the inner corner, like right in here. Not sleeping a lot. Everyday October is in full swing. <laughs> so just trying our best out here. So for brows, I remember, I remember filming this whole video where I was testing out a load of Primark products and I remember really enjoying this brow pencil and I, I haven't really reached for it since then. It's the three in one brow pencil. So it's a pencil, a powder and a gel. I think I'm just going to use the pencil. This is in dark brown, so it is very dark. <laughs> But the, the point I was trying to make there before I completely interrupted myself, it's much more cool toned than what I would usually go for. So I may have to warm it up with a bit of a warmer gel or something, but can make it work. And they do actually still have this, or in my Primark anyway. I went in a couple of weeks ago and they still had this brow pencil. And I saw it, I was like, I, I remember liking the pencil. So hopefully today will be a good brow day. I mean, it's dark, but I do like a, a dark brow. So that is the brow gel just by itself, the brow pencil rather with no gel, just by itself. I like it honestly for a really very affordable brow pencil. I do think that it's a good option. I think I would prefer it in a slightly, like maybe the medium brown would be better for me if it was a little bit warmer. So I'm just gonna go over with a bit of my, of course, Elf Wow Brow. In brunette and hopefully this will warm the colour up just a touch and make it not match my hair but just make it sort of suit my face a little bit better. I feel like when the brows are too cool toned it almost makes them look grey <laughs> and I'm in my 30s so I don't want the grey brows just yet. I will absolutely embrace them when they happen not yet so brows done and i did just get that brow gel all over my skin but i will clean that up once it has dried so for the color products on the rest of the face um again primark the ps pro cream contour still absolutely love this really really love this let me find my brush before i start tapping this onto the skin very very pigmented you don't need much at all and we blend we blend and those two dots will probably do my whole face <laughs> because like i say it's very very pigmented so let's blend before this completely dries down <laughs> i do want just a tiny bit on the sides of my nose. I don't contour my nose, but I do feel like the foundation is still a little light, so I want to sort of bring the colour products down the centre of the face a little bit. Not too much, not too much, but just a tiny bit and sort of through the eye socket as well. And then if I just bounce like down the bridge of my nose, right on top with that foundation sponge. She's got cheekbones again. There they are. It is a very cool toned. I mean, obviously it's a cream contour. It is cool toned, but blending beautifully. Still love that product. So for blush, very excited. I haven't used this one since last Autumn, the Elf Halo Glow Beauty Wand in Berry Radiant. 
I still think I'm going to love this because honestly a glowy blush just does it for me so I'll squeeze a little bit of product up not too too much and let's add that beautiful blushy glow that I love so I've got another expert face brush I have I was about to say I have two I have more than two but different ones for bronzer and blush and for cream products you cannot beat these brushes they're absolutely fantastic and they wash so well and they're just the right amount of dense where it will blend out a cream product beautifully but also they're fluffy enough where it like still moves the product around i love these brushes like easy so easy i think i might try and layer up a bit more blush <sighs> i love blush <laughs> i am not afraid i'm not afraid of blush so and I definitely have blush blindness. So adding a little bit more. And I do also feel like where you add more of a glowy blush like this, you get more of the glow coming through, which I love. Oh, why have I not used so many of these products since last year? I mean, products like blush, I'm thinking blush specifically. I do like to change up seasonally. I do like to change up my blush according to the seasons. So like it is the time of year where I'm like, the berry blushes can come out now. You can come out of hiding. I'm ready for you. <laughs> and all of my like peachy blushes and like bright cool tones, they go away for the, for the season. I love them. So another product that I'm, I'm like, I've got a blanket over my knee. It's chilly. It's chilly today. Last October, we got the Beauty Bay Metamorphic Palette. Now I am pre-filming this a little bit. As I'm filming this, we haven't had any sneak peeks or any drops from Beauty Bay as to what we're going to be getting or if we're going to be getting anything for an October palette. I hope that we do get a, like a limited edition, sorry if you can hear the wind, a limited edition uh, autumnal palette. I do hope that we get one. I hope that we get it in October so that it can be part of this whole everyday October thing. But this was the one from last year and I really have not used this much because cool tones just aren't my jam usually but I'm going to use some of these today and then I've got some other eye products that I already know I love so I'm just going to use this shade down here which is called Avatar. I don't like this packaging. <laughs> I'm going to use this one here and I'm just going to run that through the crease just as a little sort of cool toned something through the eye. I do definitely feel like last year was very and like the end of 2023 and the start of 2024 was very cool tone heavy like we got quite a lot of cool toned palettes I feel like whereas this year uh, and like I say, I'm filming this before any sort of releases or sneak peeks come out from Beauty Bay, but I'm thinking of that Cosmic Brushes palette that's come out and like the Beauty Bay Botanical that we had in the summer. We've had like more greens and like grungy, murky greens, which I am all about. I love like that whole colour theme. So I feel like this year the releases are going to be more up my street than this one. Like this isn't very me. So that's just that one grey tone 
through the crease and like under the eye as well. I'm going to take a smaller, more tapered brush and let's go in with, I want a darker matte. Let's go in with Morph, this shade here and I'll just put that on the outer sort of half of the lid. I mean, if you like cool tones, you'll love this palette. I don't think you can get it anymore. I'm fairly certain you can't. But if you wanted it, you would probably be able to get it on Vinted. Last year, I got the Dark Fantasy Beauty Bay palette. I got that on Vinted and I love that palette. That's much more up my street than this one. But they they didn't sell it anymore on Beauty Bay. I couldn't buy it first hand. So Vinted, if you want anything like that that's like not available anymore, somebody will have it on there. I'm fairly certain. I'm just running that same dark blue, the Morph shade. I'm just running that under the eye as well to like add a bit of drama to the lower lash line. And I think I'm happy with those two. I think what I want to do is I will come back to this palette for potentially an inner corner highlight. I'm thinking I might do a lilac, matte lilac inner corner highlight, but I want to move on to a different product for the shimmer. As much as I like the shimmer in these, and some of them are that like duochrome shifty, I wanted to highlight some other products that I still use regularly that I got last October. So we've got the, they're both from Profusion, the Candlelight Ritual Little Cream Eyeshadow Pot, and this is in the shade Full Moon. And this has like a lilac-y shift, so I feel like that might work quite nice with that lilac as an inner corner, but I also wanted to mention this one, and honestly, I might just use a little bit of both. So this is the Casper the Friendly Ghost, Ghosting You Holographic Highlighter, and this one's more blue. So I feel like if I did, I'm gonna just use my finger, I think. If I did a little bit of this one, you see how that's like catching the light and it's a little bit purple if I just tap that across the eye and these are like a super shock shadow from Colourpop they're a really beautiful like creamy formula but they're also like really reflective I'll zoom you in once I've once I've done this, I'll zoom you in so that you can see, but so, so beautiful. I wouldn't personally use these on the face because they are quite, like it shows up as quite a bit of purple and that's just not, I can't get this lid on now, that's just not my vibe, but they are made to be a, a highlight. So they are, you know, it's a lot of product for your money. Let me zoom you in so that you can see this shift. So you can see, it is like, it matches my headband. Like even the little stains on my headband. <laughs> it's such a beautiful eyeshadow and even, you know, I don't really feel like these are very Halloween-y. I use these all the time, but they're really like soft, but also reflective. I feel like I just need a little bit more on this side. I've not applied quite as much there. But you can see where I'm applying that, it's very much purple. And I just, <laughs> I'm just not cool enough to wear a purple highlight on my face. <laughs> so I'm just going to take a smaller fluffy brush and I'm going to swirl into, oh, I've, let me press that back in. I'm just losing a little bit of product there. I'm just going to swirl into this and tap this. Oh, I'm getting fallout. I shouldn't have done that. Tap that on the inner half-ish. And like where that catches the light, it's like blue. 
yeah that's pretty I, I just got too much on my brush I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do something to fix that fallout but I feel like adding a sort of something shimmery and bright into this area of like the inner crease-ish it almost catches the light but it's still quite subtle but also when it catches the light it's very intense it's almost like it hides there until it catches the light and then when you see it you really see it you know I need to get a bit of setting powder and just dust away that fallout before it sticks and obviously because I didn't have any setting powder on before I'm gonna have to use quite a bit just to dust away as much of that fallout as I can. I wasn't expecting to do that so I should have done my eyes first. I know how intense these shimmers are. I should have done my eyes first. There we go. I think I've managed to fix that. It's really pretty. It's really, really pretty. So while you're zoomed in, I will just use that same brush. Wipe it off on my blanket that I've got across my knee and I will go in with that if I hold it like that you might be able to see a bit better go in with that matte purple and I'm just going to tap that right onto the inner corner Ooh, that's pretty I'm just gonna run that along the lower lash line a little bit like join it up with that blue that's on the lower lash line. I feel like that looks really fun. With like the shimmer through here, but then the matte purple on the inner corner. I like how that's turned out. So obviously, if you if you haven't seen my channel before, then hello. It's great to meet you. My name's Millie and I love a wing. I wear a wing all the time. Pretty much every single day I will wear a wing. And last September, I found this product and I've been through I think this is my third tube my third pen it's the Catrice brush ink tattoo liner waterproof if you like a pen sort of liquid liner rather than something like this where it's like the brush comes out if you want something where it's all just in one and you use it like a regular pen and you like a brush tip and you also want something that's waterproof to make it very very long lasting this liner is fantastic i absolutely love it so i'm gonna go ahead and do a liquid liner i'm also going to do my mascara while i'm off because the mascara the like the only mascara that i think i mentioned in either of my favorites last year was the 17 maximum curl mascara and i absolutely stand by that mascara i love it I don't currently have it in my collection though. I've got a drawer full of mascaras. I do not need to be bringing any more into my collection, but I would absolutely repurchase that one when I get through a few more in my drawer. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna find another mascara to use and then onto the lips. I feel like I've gone, <laughs> I've gone heavy on the eyes and I've just remembered what lip product I've got. Let's finish off the eyes first. So that is the eyes done. Don't look at this wing. Just look, just look at this one. I really, really rate this eyeliner so, so highly. It's like it's a matte, um, it's a matte finish, but it's just, it's so easy. It's so black. If you go wrong, you can't clean it up quite so easily. So that's why I say don't, don't look at that side too closely. But let's zoom out and we can do the lip. The lip. Let me zoom you out. 
So I can't actually remember what lip liners I was loving last October um but the lipstick I can absolutely remember so I've sort of just I've worked backwards and I've paired a lip liner with the lipstick that I know that I was loving so this is the Essence 8 Hour Matte Comfort Lip Liner in 08 Dark Berry so if I go ahead and just overline the lips a little bit and then we can get on to the lipstick so my usual look these days is just a lip liner of whatever colour that may be and then a lip oil, a gloss, a balm, something like that and these I highly highly recommend but last October I was absolutely loving this product here which is the I was about to say essence it doesn't even say essence on it it's the 17 matte lip and this is in 080 rich rosewood and I just think that's gonna go beautiful with that lip liner mm. she's vampy she's autumnal oh I love it I love a vampy lip. I just love it. And this is, like I say, this is the matte formula from Seventeen. They have a matte formula and they have a cream formula. I feel like the matte is more comfortable than the cream. I don't know, there's something about the cream formula that I really don't like. All of the ones that I had I decluttered, but I love. Now, like I say, the way that I like to do my makeup now, I don't really like a matte lip as much as I've just applied a matte lip, but I like more of a glossy sort of finish. So I'm gonna tap over a bit of, let's just use the P. Louise Balmy For You lip balm. I'll if I get a bit on my finger so that I don't mess up the applicator. Mm. And I feel like that mixes those colours together nicely as well. Mixes the lip liner into that lipstick really nicely. So obviously, if you haven't seen my channel before, I, I, I get covered in everything. What is that? What is that? <laughs> Whatever it is. I mean, it's probably that eyeliner because it's not coming off. washing my hands with it um if you haven't seen my channel before i always like to add more blush at the end so i'm gonna go in with a bit more of that elf blush where did i put my blush brush oh it's here so let's just tap over a substantial amount more i feel like when you get to the end it like you need to add more blush to balance it out. Blush blindness, yes. But also I do feel like I lean more into less bronzer in autumn. So less bronzer, more blush. I'm justifying it to myself again. I don't have to, but I am. Yes, all blended in and pushed into the skin nicely and I oh, I shouldn't be trusted with makeup I need to put the sponge down before I do more damage I've got a little dot of lipstick on the end of my nose or is that a spot <laughs> it's a spot <laughs> I love that for me I need to just call it a day. I need to just call it a day. It's like, I think it's like half past five in the evening. It's it's quarter to six and I haven't had lunch yet. So no wonder I'm slowly losing my mind. So this is a full face of 2023 October favourites. And I can safely say that a lot of these are still favourites. They still have been. Even before I tested them in this video, they still absolutely have been favourites. The glowy primer, that mixed in with foundation is just 
beautiful. The contour stick, the blush. I need to be using this blush more. Remind me. Need to be using this more. I absolutely love it. The the glittery, sparkly, beautiful things on the eyes. Again, I've been using those all summer long. Like I have been using those because I'm a magpie and I love sparkly things. I've been using those all autumn, all summer long, and definitely will be into autumn as well. I haven't used this lip. I've used the lip liner, but I haven't used that lipstick since last year. And that with that lip balm over the top, beautiful, beautiful. So, a full face of last year's favourites, still favourites, still firm favourites. I've got a cat hair that's tickling my nose, of course I do. I'm going insane. I'm going to make myself a big bowl of pasta for my tea. I'm going to wash my hands and try and get this all off. If you want to see more rambling updates from me for the rest of the month of October, every single day, you can subscribe down below. Honestly, at this point, I don't blame you if you don't subscribe. Because this is the level of rambling that you're going to get for the rest of the month. But until next time, Thank you ever so much for watching. Bye.